Welcome back to Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Our next destination is... Three different potential destinations. Blow ye wings of the morning, blow ye wings high ho. Okay, I'm glad he actually sung that. I was worried for a second he wouldn't. Drake, what are you doing all the way out here? And he's singing it to his own theme too. Oh yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, so it's a naval specialist we're going after this time. Captain Drake. And, just like the earlier route splits, this is, well, the second route split. This is the Green Earth section of the campaign. It actually goes on for quite a while, and unlike the first route split where there was just one choice, in this one, Every single mission of the next four is a route split. You're free to pick and choose between which path, but in the original, there was a gigantic guy, dang it. So, this is Captain Drake Max. Max needs to navigate through, uh, through a sea of fog where Drake's navy lies in wait. Captain Drake Andy. Andy must capture property before Drake washes ashore to claim victory. And Captain Drake Sandy. Sammy set sail to capture cities before Drake's troops can flood in. So, the guide thing in the original game was that you needed to pick the same character for all the next four missions in order to do something special. If you picked Sammy for all four, you would get Eagle in the final battle. If you picked Andy for all four, you would get Drake in the final battle. And if you pick Max, you got nothing, but you didn't quite lose, good day sir, because this was the easiest way to guarantee getting Kanbei in the final battle. Now, I've almost never seen the Max route of Green Earth, and I do look very much forward to doing it, but I personally consider the Sammy route to be the canon one. Now, in the original game, this one also unlocked an additional mission, after the final battle, but you were forced to play in order to beat the game, and it was the hardest mission in the game, especially on hard mode. So, you might not want to pick Sammy for these in the GBA version, but in Reboot Camp, I have heard you can actually choose anyone in the final battle, regardless of which route you take. But yeah, for the sake of this playthrough, I will be going the Sammy route for all of these, and that's also the hardest route, so oh boy, yeah. This one is very much, uh, an issue? This is essentially Sammy marches on, except, uh, possibly worse. Oh, I've got Green Earth tanks on the loading screen here, which is cool. I've always liked, uh, Green Earth unit designs. Mission 18, Captain Drake! Virtually unstoppable. Unstoppable is the key word here, because he's not exactly much stronger. Oh, yeah. Thing is, Andy actually has the right idea here. He's something of a hard counter to Drake, which the game actually does suggest at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this absolutely is. This is a capture mission, and Drake already has nine. We need 15, which means we need to stop Drake from getting 6. And Drake pretty much already has this area locked down, so he's gonna have the bottom of this locked down too, so... Essentially, we need to stop him from taking half of this central island. But, speaking of which, let's find out about our opponent, Captain Drake, a former pirate with a big heart. His naval units rule the seas, but he has trouble with air units. Rain seems to follow wherever he goes. Now, the game doesn't quite state this. Oh, actually, no, wait, it does. It actually does. Okay, then, it doesn't reboot camp. That's cool. 
Uh, Drake's naval units gain plus one to movement range. Honestly, I forgot about that. And two bonus terrain stars. This is quite unique. Instead of getting plus 20% defense, he actually gets two extra terrain stars, which it works a little differently, but it's still effectively plus 20% defense at full HP. His air units suffer minus 20 to firepower. Now, this is actually quite a problem because battlecopters are a very valuable unit, even on maps that don't have high income. So, Drake having bad battlecopters does hold him back quite significantly, but remember that plus one naval movement also includes transports. It means that his subs can go pretty far in a good scouts and fog of war, and also his naval units don't have any increased firepower, but besides battleships, naval units don't really need increased firepower anyway. They already do pretty much what they need to. Uh, so the increased defense is quite helpful in keeping these very expensive units alive as long as possible. And that plus one move can creep up on you if you let it. Now, here we go. Rain does not affect his troops' movement. Now, we'll probably see rain eventually, and this is an irritating thing about this map, because uh, it does, in fact, have random weather. And here we go. Has a small chance to make it rain in random weather. Again, in the original game, your only hint at that was the rain seems to follow wherever he goes line. So, yeah. Drake himself cannot make it rain. Uh, he can with his powers in Advance Wars 2, but what do his powers do in Advance Wars 1? Well, I'm glad you asked. Squall causes a storm that does 1 HP of damage to all enemy units. That doesn't sound like much. In fact, this is way more dangerous than you think. Don't think of this as dealing 1 damage to every enemy unit. Think of this as wiping out 10% of your enemy's army in a single hit. Essentially, that means your opponent's army loses 10% of its total value, and that's pretty huge. Also, any units that were newly built on a property are going to be forced to spend money to repair that 1 HP. So, this also hurts your opponent's economy as well. Now, it does have a meter of 4 blocks. It's the only power in Advance Wars 1 to do that, so it has the medium-slow charging category. But still, don't underestimate this. Despite naval units being a little weak, Drake recently got reevaluated as quite a high tier character entirely because of this global map damage. Global map damage is very, very good, and don't underestimate it. This is why I said Andy is a bit of a hard counter because he can recover this, but effectively it means that Hyper Repair is only healing 1 HP, not 2, so he's still hurting you somewhat. Oh. Okay then, now it's time to begin. Now on hard mode, Drake has a whole bunch of medium tanks and other units down here, as well as extra battleships in the seas. Uh, we do start out with two subs, but they are Sammy subs, so they're weaker than usual. And I have landers here. Uh, here's the question, do I send my tanks across first, or do I immediately go for... I think I'm going to start sending out my... Uh, you know what, let, let's go ahead and compromise and... Actually no, um... Uh, how about, yeah, you go in the APC, APC goes in the lander, this one goes in there, because no additional infantry can load in this one, and... I'm gonna start by loading the infantry rather than next, because I want to get to the cities as fast as possible. Well, actually, not so much cities, more the bases. Now, I am a little worried this guy is gonna get hit by, uh, indirects, but we'll see. And meanwhile... Hmm... This feels a little close for comfort, but I am going to unload here and see what happens. Uh, this could end up backfiring horribly, but we shall see. Now, uh, the ports in this map are not exactly in the most convenient locations for you to capture. Drake's probably going to get that one, and this one's a little too far away from the action and too close to Drake's battleships to really be much of, a, of, a, of an asset to you. So take care of your landers, because they're likely to be the only ones you ever have. Uh, yeah, here's another cool thing about, uh, Drake, is that his movement bonus means that his naval units can get into reefs a lot more easily. Now, this battleship's probably gonna go... Uh, I forget if Drake has battleships below. But he might, so I'm gonna go there just in case. Because I sort of like to put my battleship here as, like, shoreline support, even though I may need it to take on Drake's naval units later. Uh, meanwhile, these guys are just going to say here. Now, I actually haven't spoiled myself on Drake's theme, so I'm looking forward to hearing it. Now's the time. Well, 
that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Didn't quite get to uh, one of my favorite parts of the song, though. I used to not actually like Drake's theme all that much, but uh, it has grown on me. I've already seen Green Earth Troops capture, so I'm not going to go for that just yet. Uh, every turn I spend not capturing is a bad turn, but okay then. You go back. Actually, oh no, I should stop cancelling in Fogger 4. Uh, yeah, you go there. I'll need you later. Take a mech. And okay. You might have noticed that there are a lot of units running around in the fog, so... You gotta be careful. And yeah, these cities are deceptively hard to get, even though they're closer to you than they are to Drake, because, uh... He has basically a whole armada of battleships in here, so, uh, that's gonna be, uh... Problematic. Speaking of problematic, these reefs are being a real issue. Okay, can't see anything just yet. Now, unlike Sonya, Drake cannot see into woods or reefs, so that's a major, major, uh, uh, what's the opposite of headache? Like, anti-headache that we have right now. Oh boy, I know there are artillery running around in there. But I kind of need to send this media. Ah, that's not good, because that means Drake's battleships that are over here can see that medium tank. Okay. But well, let's shoot this, though. It's funny, I'm actually recording this off of my uh, computer screen, since I have no access to my TV right now, but I still just... I do think the graphics of Rear Boot Camp are a little underrated. They're just, like... I don't know, like, I personally... I, I don't... I, I actually quite like them. I think they're... They're... They're better than I thought they would be. Like, they just look so clean, and just... just Yeah, clean is a nice way to describe it. Clean, crisp, clear... Okay. Oh, that's a cruiser, right there. Hmm... But yeah, he does have these two already. He has nine cities. He's almost certainly going to get this and this. Going for the HQ is a possible tactic in this map, but uh, it, it does take some doing to actually get uh, a lander all the way there. You still have to build from this port, and that requires you to clear the seas a little bit. Yeah, there you go. I like the I like the use of that in this theme. Uh oh, that's another cruiser, isn't it? Oh no, it's a sub. Get up off for that thing. Okay, so this is a weird thing. So when I first played Advance Wars 1, not 1, when I first played Advance Wars 2, I had not so much lyrics, but just like words in my head at certain songs. And bizarrely, there are two songs in this game that I have get up off that thing. Uh, in my head, <laughs> uh, towards this one and Andy's theme. But yeah, for some reason, part of this th song, just, I don't know if it's, like, to do with the the time, like, it being the 2000s, and, like, Get Up Off of That Thing was, um, part of the 2000s, but, uh, that's just, I don't know, I've, I've just always heard at that particular... Misclick, dang it. Uh, at that particular part of Drake's theme, I've always heard do 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 get up off for that thing. Anyway, uh, uh cruisers there. Cruisers there, that's not good. Do not like that cruiser being there. Um, like, he, he will know where this sub is, but like, like, he'll have to scout it before attacking it, and yeah. It'd be funny if there were actually copters on board that cruiser, but there are not. So, right now he has cruiser, he has sub, and he has, uh, battleship. That battleship's not gonna be, like, it's not covering very much ground, but, uh, oh boy. Ah, uh, the sub's probably gonna die, because I think at least one of the units is gonna scout it, and, uh, then the other will kill it. But if I go down here, I'm, with my battleship, I might be able to make him regret, uh, taking out the sub. Of course, the battleship will probably be blind in there uh, after the sub goes down, so that is a thing. So yeah, um, weirdly, uh, yep, there we go. I was gonna, I was gonna scout with the APC because why not? Better than getting the tank trapped. <laughs> that's actually, that's actually pretty funny. Uh, yeah, like, like there's. And again, there's a lot of there's a lot of charm and personality in the character expressions in this one. Like, I, I don't believe Drake was ever this expressive in the original game. Like, I don't really remember much about how Drake would emote in Advance Wars 1. Do, 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 
dude. Yeah, I, I still remember Drake's theme. Oh, that's new though. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have. I, I spoiled myself on most of the OST. I really shouldn't have. Because uh, I'm having a pretty good reaction to Drake's theme here. Okay, that's mine. Now I'm going to try and go for this port. But again, I know that he has battleships down here. And also his cruiser's like gone over here now. I mean, it could potentially flank this sub. But okay then. Like I said, Drake is... Uh, okay, hang on. Oh no, I don't want to shoot with the rocket from here because then I block the city and I need to get the city as fast as possible. So that's a terrible, terrible idea. Um, yeah, let's just scout out that mountain. Okay, this this forest, that's a better place for this rocket. Yeah, the only tiles that it can't hit are tiles where, uh, well, okay, if a mech goes over the mountains and hits the rocket, that's bad. But like, tiles that uh, I aren't really as much of an issue anyway, or if enemy units get onto those tiles, uh, the rocket's basically dead anyway. Yeah, uh, thankfully Sammy's troops still capture quite effectively, even, um... Ah, uh, yeah, he's not doing the whole, um, uh, really, really bad reaction there. Uh, but they, they still capture effectively even if they're at 9 HP, so, like, not, it's not too worrying. But, um, I really don't want the cruiser to go down here, though. Uh, yeah, maybe this cruiser actually needs to go back. Hi there, other cruiser. It'd be kind of funny if it had a transport copy with infantry in it, and then they captured my HQ, but... Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, these two landers... I actually take that back. I don't really need them anymore. I mean, they could potentially act as scouts or even walls, uh... If I... In, a, in the, uh... In the likely event of an emergency. Yeah, the question is, do I shoot the cruiser, or do I shoot the battleship? I mean, the battleship's gonna... Oh, wait. Three vision. Oh, the sub hits my battleship if I keep my battleship here. That's actually really, really not good. Yeah, let's move you back. And let's move you... back er. I feel like that's lowering my vision a bit. And then... I've got a lot of money right now, so I can probably afford some heavier things, but, but yeah, I will need to invest in some naval units eventually, which is kind of a rare thing in the first game. Well, in both games, actually. Yeah, I'll just take infantry for now. Yeah, I, I like what they did with Drake's theme. It was not one of these songs that I didn't think was that good in the original game, but uh, it's way better in Reboot Camp. Just like Eagle. Like, Green Earth in general seems to be getting a little bit of a blow-up, but uh, the third Green Earth CO, who we won't see in this game. Oh, I like how the land is actually beach. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, if Drake got a firepower bonus in naval units, that would have died. Oh, that's... Oh, that's my medium tank. I'm not too worried. Green Earth mechs look pretty cool, though. Yeah, see, that was not a particularly great... Um, I mean, it took 2 HP off the medium tank, but still. Yeah, right now, things are looking a little passive. That may change later. Yeah, it's already day 5... Oh, I also have double time right now. Um, Again, this is quite weird, but... um, Double time actually gets this mech onto this city. So, why not? Here I come. I haven't this before, but I actually think Sammy's power activation theme is maybe one of my favorites. I like how in Reboot Camp they actually gave everyone their own unique power activation like sound effect. Not just the um, not just the um, hmm. you know what? Maybe that's actually better. Oh no, I do start capturing things sooner if I do this. Uh, it's just yeah, that mech's gonna die anyway, so. Yeah, let's just go and grab all of these. So next time I get three more, that gives me only two more to win. However, they're both around here, which is going to make them a lot harder to get. Okay, still can't see anything down here. There may be a battleship one of the reefs, though. 
Uh, but yeah, Sammy's power activation might actually be my personal favorite of all of them. Hmm. Yeah, either of these things die, but... I need to destroy this lower tank to open up the way. But still, that's still a great expression, however... Oh, uh, I is not really gonna... I think there's a better than average chance that I'll get trapped if I do. In fact, I can actually find out right now with this ATC if I'll get trapped. No, I will not, but there's an artillery there. So let's try and take this guy out. Oh, did not quite get it. That is... annoying. Okay, battleship. So there's two cruisers in the vicinity right now, but I would rather go for his battleship, I think, because that's actually going to be a threat to me. Yeah, getting your indirects set up in the center of this island, things can easily get bogged down in the middle. Uh, it can become a little bit of a choke point. But, um... Oh, is he going to get it? Oh, he's going to get it. Okay, then. I need to be ready for that when it comes. But yeah, I think this is doing slightly more damage, because terrain stars get less effective the lower HP you have, so... Yeah, that is, uh... Yeah, kind of... Interesting... Well, I don't like how things are going for the sub right now. And, uh... Oh, these subs have ridiculous vision, so I I can't quite put this in the reef. And he can already see this one, so. Um, I'm very sorry, Landers. Yeah, I have to get this cruiser back here. Because with the power, Drake will be one-shotting my Landers, and that means I'll have to use up another unit to scout the sub. But okay, I have the port now, and I have two bases up here. I'll, I'll, I'll be almost guaranteed to get that, so... Yeah, I think I can probably afford to... The thing is, medium tanks aren't, like, super great in this situation. I'm actually going to take... I think I'll take a rocket from there, because I have a bit of a road uh, going forward here, and then I'll take a, I'll take a regular tank. Since I only have two bases right now, I do have to be somewhat careful of um, my technique score. But okay, we're about to get rain danced. Like the water splash. Anchors away! Squall. Um. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> So yeah, get used to seeing your units on less than full HP when Drake's around. It's really annoying. And uh, he only got more annoying in Advance Wars uh, 2 when uh, his powers also halve the fuel of all your units. Which could be potentially devastating if you have an air or navy focused force. Yep, there's a battleship. Yep, that's a battleship. I thought so. Also, Drake's power theme is great suddenly starts sounding like a surfer theme or something. And then this part sounds like it's underwater. It's just it's really cool. In general, just 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 Drake kind of gives that feeling of like a Yeah, it's just got that kind of classic navy feel to it. That sort of batten down the hatches. So yeah, I said earlier that Green Earth is sort of based on Europe, and uh, Eagle is kind of meant to represent... Uh, I said earlier that Eagle kind of represents Germany. Well, uh, in that analogy, Drake is typically considered a reference to, uh, to Britain, uh, because he's named after Sir Francis Drake, and um, he's kind of a naval specialist. Uh, Britain was often kind of known for their navy. That kind of thing. Like, his his voice sounds almost Irish in the remake, though. Which is, yeah, kind of, kind of unique. Okay. Well, this is annoying because all the scouting in the world isn't gonna... Actually, hmm. I can do that, but, like, then I expose this to potentially getting shot by battleships. I'm gonna do this anyway, though. Yeah, two terrain stars from being on a beach, because Drake is a... 
he's a big cling, in my own words. Uh, yeah, that rocket covers what it needs to. And now... Okay, there. Okay, so I got hit, like, here? No, I know. I got hit, like, somewhere else. So, like, the battleship is, like, in either one of these leaps, I think. Well, I can only scout one of them. And it wasn't in that one, so it's probably in that one. There's also landers here. Yeah, see, it's 13 all now. This is the point where this map starts to get a little bit, uh... I mean, I can delay this, but it's really just delaying the inevitable. He's obviously going to get that seaport eventually. There's there's really, like, not much reason for me to try and stop that right now. He does have a battleship down below, but I don't think I'll... Ooh, this sub, this sub, yikes. Uh, uh, I may have to invest in an APC just to uh, make sure this sub doesn't die. Well, I can try and hide this land to save it. And I'll start capturing that next turn anyway, so I think I'll go in the mountain right now to give myself some extra vision. Yeah, things get kind of bad down here often. Uh, and also, yeah, Drake uh, can build stuff in this map, which means that if we check the status, 20. Yeah, I'm still at only two kills for a perfect power score, but I'll probably have to go for three eventually. I can get a lander, but yeah, this is this is the problem. I do sort of want to save up for a sub here. What's my income? 13,000, okay. So as long as I only spend like 6,000 this turn, I should be able to afford a sub next turn, but... I think I'll just get two infantry. Now, oh, I can't believe I really shouldn't be saying this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on saying that for now because uh you'll see. I don't wanna jinx it. Something something can happen on this map, and I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about. Well, that's annoying. Oh hi there. Uh that's a Sammy mech. I mean, tank first striking it is still quite good, but yeah, Sammy mechs are some of the few that can kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with tanks. Yeah, I I really like Drake's theme now. Oh, okay, that, though, that's a bad engagement for a Sammy Mech, and, and he's starting to come over, uh, to my side. And I, I can't afford to let him take two of these properties, especially that city, which is quite low. And he's unloading on my own port, so I can't even get a sub. You sneaky, sneaky, actually, though. Actually, though. Okay, so first I get that. However, um, I would kind of much prefer to use the rocket on something else, but... Oh, wow, Drake's tankiness is really coming in handy here, because this is like a five-star defense. Holy crap, that's a lot of defense. I might not even be able to take this lander down. No, I don't think I can. Or I may be able to with the tank, but that would be silly. I mean, I, I hope that works. Oh, also, my sub's going to sink soon. Oh, no, this is not going to happen. That's not going to happen. The, um... Hmm. Uh, I hate having to rely on this. Uh, by the way, I've since found out this is not available on hard mode, which makes sense. But, um... Yeah, now that I know that I can't kill that, that really sucks, because it, it means I can't even get a sub out of that. Ugh. So, yeah. I think the battleship is here. No, it's there. Okay, there's the battleship. There, he's got a lot of landers. Uh, yeah, I really need to make an effort on taking out those infantry. Otherwise, I am in very serious trouble. Okay, let's blast this tank off the map. And make Drake's funny face appear again. Okay, good. No trap. This is not gonna actually kill this, though. Okay, three. And that's not gonna finish it, probably. Oh, wait, no, no. no. Let's, not, let's not shoot the sub with a battleship. I mean, it's funny doing that, but um, 
Usually do it with a cruiser if you can, because cruisers have nothing better to do. Whereas battleships have a lot of better things to do, potentially. Uh, right then. I'm not sure I want to hit his... Oh, his power's going to take a while anyway. Oh, and this thing dies to my mech anyway, so why waste the rocket on it? <laughs> Hello, lone infantry. Oh, it's not even climbing a mountain. It's just on the ground there. It's just looking up there and going, Ah, oh, it's a fine day today. Then bullets just rain down on him. And thus the fate of a lot of infantry in advance wars. Ah... Uh, like, yeah, like, I don't really... Like, these cruisers aren't really threatening me right now. So, yeah, I need to hit you. And I also need to make sure that I start getting some infantry uh, around this lower area as quickly as I can, because otherwise... Yeah, I need two more things to win, and they're all right in range of that battleship, actually. Which is, uh, annoying. Uh, yeah, so I'll take the tank down now. And this tank will hit you. Let's finish that guy off. Okay, I am starting to break through, though. Which is good, but he's blocked my port, which is bad. Yeah, so I need that one, and then I need one more property. And this land is not really going to serve me very well because he has that. I mean, I could do the same thing that he did to me, uh, but, you know, not really sure how effective that'll be. Uh, you know what? I think I actually need one of these. Because I need to get my infantry down here. This is just also also that needs to die. I almost forgot about this. Because I need to stop him from capturing my upper properties. Yeah, I like the way Green Earth APCs look. Uh, okay then. You know what? Overkill. Um, yeah, you just, just, I don't know, you just go in a reef, just sit there. Oh, this mech, though. This mech, though. I don't want this mech, though, to die, though. So I'm going to put him over here, though. Well, as much as I'd like for him to cut and run, uh, he's not going to. This map won't end until I, uh... Oh, that's annoying. That's a lot of things that are potentially in the way. Just need one more city. And he's going to make me work for it. And that's what I was afraid of! It's raining now. So, in rain, planes and woods are harder to traverse for units on tires and treads. Now, foot soldiers are typically fine in the rain, and mountains are, uh, yeah, pretty much exactly the same, but, um, yeah, uh, I, okay, seas don't, don't, don't cost any more. But the other annoying thing is that your vision on all units goes down by one in fog of war in the rain. Now, here's the funny thing about Drake. So, in the original Advance Wars 1, Drake was not immune to this vision penalty. And since they've kept everything else so faithful, I am assuming this is still true. Uh, that he still loses vision in rain, even though he's meant to be immune to rain. So, that's, that's just, ah, uh, it's, just, it's just a weird thing about Drake. Um, I don't even know if Jewel Strike fixed that. Uh, because Jewel Strike is actually quite interesting because of the way that rain, uh, uh, Jewel Strike made rain work. Uh, so there, no weather actually lowered movement at all, which a lot of people heavily disliked, and I kind of agree. Uh, but, yeah. So, um, in Jewel Strike, rain, uh, because of this, in Jewel Strike, rain would actually force Fog of War, even if the map didn't normally have Fog of War. And what this meant was that Drake... Okay, I'll just, I'm jumping the gun here. The Drake's super CO power in Advance Wars 2 uh, makes it rain. And what this would mean is that um, Drake could... Like, Drake would have to be very careful in Advance Wars, Wars uh, Jewel Strike because he could very easily uh, screw himself over by making it rain and thus killing his vision when he would otherwise have vision to your units. Especially if it was a non-fog map. And, yeah, Drake would make it rain even though it wasn't fog. Which actually meant that Pekin Sonya uh, had a very slight use um, in 
a non-Fog of War map if you are playing against Drake, and only if you're playing against Drake. This whole, like, minus one vision in Fog of War thing, though, for Raid is something that I never actually discovered when I first played, like, and I never knew about it for the longest time. It, it kind of makes sense, though. Like, you do, like, rain does reduce your visibility in real life, so I, you know, it's kind of understandable that uh, it would uh, have that effect in a wartime setting as well. So yeah, it, it's, it's kind of an interesting aspect of uh, Rain in this game, but uh, yeah, normally rain happens a lot sooner than this. I don't really see why it didn't rain until now, but oh well. So yeah, I really need to start pushing into this lower part of the map as quickly as I can. I may get double time though soon. Yeah, because if Drake gets one more city, I'm, well, no pun intended, I'm sunk. Drake likes to make a lot of seafaring puns, by the way. You'll be seeing that more later. Because this is not the last time we face Drake, and, uh... I wish it was, because, uh... Drake, Drake is an awkward character in the first game. He's a really, really awkward character, uh... And we'll, we'll be seeing why. I know I keep saying a lot of things, that we'll be, we'll be seeing a lot of things eventually, but we'll be seeing why eventually, but I, I do just think Drake, Drake to me is, has always been one of the most awkward characters in the first game. Um, can't even get a sub, which sucks. Uh, how about more... I suppose I'll get a mech and an APC. How about that? Yeah, this has always been one of my maybe least favorite maps in the original game. Now Drake's turned into Sonya. Because it's just kind of... Like, I don't know, it, it, it can become a bit of a slog quickly. And it's even worse on hard mode where Drake already has a medium tank and a whole bunch of artillery in the lower uh, part of the first island. But yeah, no, th these are these are Green Earth cities. They they look, look different. And I, yeah, kind of like how they look. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay there, that's some infantry. Ah, uh, a lot of these cities are covered though. Okay, no more rain. Which means I can see further. Literally, I can see clearly now, the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way, including that tank, which has to die. Now it's my turn. I do like that. Like, that's kind of what the whole, you know, getting more power or taking damage as opposed to dealing damage, how it works. It's kind of like, <laughs> my turn. And, uh, I, again, I need this tank to die. I probably have speed, uh, not speed, I probably have power lockdown right now. I've only lost three. He has only lost ten years, though. Okay, so, yeah, Drake's, yeah, like, this is the thing, like, like, don't underestimate that defense bonus on Drake's units. I've said before that, that defense is generally very good in Advance Wars, and when your units just don't die, it, it does open up a lot of strategies, and again, like, like, naval units are expensive, you want to keep them around as long as possible. Oh, yikes, I do not like the fact that there's that there. Also, by the way, he's almost, oh, yeah, he's, he's hitting us with, uh, with his, with his, uh, storm soon. Oh, that's cool. This, 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 the houses turn red if they're captured by Orange Star. Didn't notice that. <laughs> These troops are the fastest painters ever. But yeah, that anti-air is dead, which is something I was very much hoping for. And yeah, let's just pound his stuff because I, uh, can, because he has, uh... Yeah, like, I, I kind of wanted to surround this thing with stuff, but okay then. As long as I can safely capture this, then I win, but... Gotta make sure that, um, you know, we, uh... Okay. Finally! I will get that sub, uh, whether I need it or not! Oh boy, that just reminds me of, um, like... <laughs> Like, I, okay, I don't mean to talk about real-life politics in a silly parody war game, but, um... Australia, the last few years, had this 
thing about a submarine deal with France and it caused an enormous amount of controversy, so the fact that I'm splurging on a very expensive submarine uh, is just making me, you know, it's making me think of that. Because, you know, oh boy. Depends on how much stuff is in the vicinity down there. But yeah, that, uh, that whole submarine deal fiasco, that was very much, uh, uh, yeah, I remember that going down. Don't really, you know, know a whole ton about exactly, uh, how it happened, but still just, um, anyway. Okay, you, you're there, uh, I need infantry out of those, and then, again, it's just all about, if this infantry, like, this mech, this mech is, is gonna be the hero. This mech needs to survive. If he survives, then I win. If not, then this is gonna be delayed for a while. And rainy again, yeah. Prepare to be washed away. I know, I know that one of his power quotes in the original Advance Wars 2 was WAVE GOODBYE TO YOUR TROOPS, and I wonder if he still says that. Knowing this game's love of puns so far, I'm almost certain he probably still says that. Please don't die, Cruiser. Oh, just barely. I do really like Drake's power theme. It, it just, it just kind of, oh, thankful. I, I was scared for a second that would be a full health battleship. But, um... Oh, don't have stuff down there. Oh, he had an infantry. Remember that magic number is 7 damage. As long as this guy stays above 3 HP, I'm good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't have anything that can hit me, please. Well, he definitely doesn't have anything to hit me unless it's indirect, because that lander just moved next to it. Okay, there we go. I should win now. Is this the first time a mission has gone on for 10 days or more? But yeah, as you can see here, this is... Yeah, like, look at this. I... My funds got drained quite a bit from that. That's another, another thing with Drake's power. It actually really hurts your money. Not quite as much as a certain enemy CO in Jewel Strike. They're an absolute pain to deal with. Uh, because they have a power that deals 3 HP damage to everything on a building, uh, and, uh, it's only their normal power. <laughs> so, uh, they're, again, they're very much a, um, uh, yeah, let's sink your ships. Let's go out by sinking great ships. It's kind of funny that we're ending this on a rainy day, but, yeah, sort of fitting like that. Um, yeah, let's take you down. I'm doing this just in case I need help with the power score, but I probably don't. Because you can maybe take out the infantry? Yeah, 6 HP medium... T oh, wow, this infantry is actually doing more. That's not gonna finish it off, though. And let's just... Let's just... Let's just act like this sub meant something. Just like that... That, that sub deal with Australia. Uh, but anyway, uh, I need to build things just in case, so you you can't build a thing here because naval units are stupidly expensive. And let's end this. That should be map over. A job well done. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, so here's where Drake starts getting a little weird. We'll see. <laughs> well, there's that plus one movement working. That storm should be against the rules. <laughs> yeah, she says that in the original too, which is great. <laughs> But that is our first naval victory won against Captain Drake. And so, I will see you next time when we... Yeah, we're going to take on Drake again, because we actually fight this guy quite a few times. So we'll see you next time for a naval clash in... Naval Clash. Yep, that's the actual name of the mission. <laughs>